I'm just packing because I'm flying to Mexico tomorrow. This is way too small. I may wear such gold. No, I mean, like, how cool is that? You just go with your bestie, with both of your two vans, to Mexico. We at the airport, we made it. You're so used to just being in airplanes and. How does it feel to time travel, Toby, again? We arrived in Mexico City. Look at our little Airbnb for the night before we have to travel tomorrow again. Now, believe it or not, we've been probably traveling now for the past two days and tomorrow's another day before we even get to the actual place where our van arrived at Veracruz at the port and then somehow we have to get there and pick up our van in four days so we have four days to chill in an Airbnb to just relax before we get back to our vans and we arrived look at our little it's very it's very decent I would say the thing is though in Germany right now and in Europe it is super early it's like 5 a.m. in the morning and we are both somehow not tired just super exhausted seriously you won't believe it was so hard and Peña was behaving so well yeah, both of yeah. them they behaved so well and just the struggle to even know at the beginning if they could pass at all it was still hard like imagine 11 hours and they couldn't pee we had like a little what was it called like a pad you know that you can put on the floor like for for puppies that they can pee but they are not used to it so none, none of them peed. Once we left, uh, Penny was peeing on, on in, the, in the airport. <laughs> Poor them, like, I don't, I, at that point I didn't even care anymore because like 11, oh, 11 hours. 11. It's better 11 hours there instead of 11 hours underneath in the cargo. Imagine they pooed. That would have been traumatizing. Yeah. I'm just glad now we're here, we settled. And then we had the problems because Penny was missing on the spot on treatment. I bet he didn't even tell me. But you fixed it really quick, like you handled But I was lucky again yeah. because, because of the woman right next to us. Because there was a woman next to us and she had the exact same problem and she was there for an hour already. And I just got checked and then they're gonna call the doctor now. And then he did mine as well. So I was pretty lucky. Yeah, I feel a bit like, tired to be honest. But it's been good. And then we can just enjoy, you know, four days of Veracruz and... Yes, enjoy the sun a little bit. Enjoy the sun. You boys, I wonder if dogs actually get jet lagged. Yeah, if they know, like, if they know... it's actually five in the morning. <laughs> Excuse me, you're all a bit hesitated, a bit over the edge. We all are, but please, not here. Hey guys, we just stopped by to have our first breakfast in Mexico. And we just kind of walked around and I got this thing, which I don't even know what it is, but there's chicken inside. And then this almost feels like couscous, but it's not. And then there's a jalapeno sauce on top. It's so good. <laughs> you don't know how excited I am because okay. it's been so long ago since I ate something completely new. Oh, I just absolutely love it. Have a look. After our first Mexican breakfast, we were so excited to take the airplane from Mexico City to Veracruz. But unfortunately, when we got there, the airline wouldn't allow us to take the dogs onto the airplane. We were lost and we didn't know what to do. The tickets were wasted and the money was gone. So we sat there for a little while deciding what to do. As we came up with the idea to take the bus, because in Mexico, there was no real train lines. So we ended up packing all our stuff to go to the bus station. But as we got there, we got some bad news again. The bus station would only allow dogs underneath the bus with all of the luggages. And that didn't felt right. So we sat there again without internet and me with a broken phone and us not knowing what to do. Even though it seems like nothing, it was very tough for all of us. So we ended up deciding to go to another Airbnb just to stay a night and to figure out another plan. And trust me, that Airbnb, it really wasn't nice at all. <laughs> Ich bin weg, die 
ist hier runter. Und sure? mein Herr. Oh mein Gott, I can't look at this. Ich weiß, mein Gekreische macht es nicht einfach. <lacht> hey, yo! Kill the cockroach! Das, 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 das. <lacht> Outside you met her at outside. 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Wow. So you and, let her in and then initially. No, she was at the other side. She's not gonna come out. She's know? not gonna come out. Someone has to do something about it. But I need a coffee first. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this shit. Maybe if I can spray, like, do you have hairspray? Yeah. Yeah, spray. But I don't think that's gonna kill her. But you, you can make a blind with it. <laughs> and then she's gonna go for right to But I'm thinking about it like a comic, you know? <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, give me a hairspray, Toby. We just spray it. I don't have so much hairspray. Uh, you can buy it today. I just have today. a small one. You can buy one today. But first, wait, I'm gonna kill her with a shoe. Yeah, but first you can make a blind so she's not so fast anymore. So one thing for you guys to learn, do not try to fly with your dog. In Mexico, it's not no. gonna work. No. So just take blah blah car. It's the safest and easiest way. <laughs> or a car rental if you have enough money. Or car, yeah, or a car rental. Oh. I was actually looking for something in the morning. Um, Uber. I was just curious, and there's actually people that drive you from here to Vera Cruz, and they charge you um, six thousand pesos, oh. and it's like. 220 euros. Jesus. But it's cheaper doing this and renting your own car yeah. and pay also for the fuel and like for everything else. Yeah, makes and sense. So that's actually the cheaper thing to get a private Six driver. <laughs> a happy girl do you see happy girls like smiling this much when she has good food okay i don't know what it is i think it's a black tortilla and then with some mixed ham and sauces wine, uh, beans i think i'm in the heaven in street food heaven for real like normally it's china but oh my god i don't even know how to eat it mm. is it good it's spicy, but it's good. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. I want to try it, though. Try it. <laughs> Hello, it's I put spicy. It, oh, I put my it, God. I put, a lot of, I put a lot of spice in there. So. <laughs> oh. Hey, I love spicy. Thank you, mm -hmm. Okay. Enjoy your meal. As you see, today is day four of traveling. Yes, you heard. It took us, well, we are not done yet. Let's not let's not try to make it day five. <laughs> we are waiting for our blah blah car today. And I'm not sure if he will actually take us because he knows we have two dogs, but he doesn't know we have quite a fair bit of luggage. And I'm not sure if we can even fit into it yeah. because there are a couple of people already inside. So um, we are just hoping for the best because otherwise, otherwise I, I, I don't know. Yay, we were so lucky and she really did take us. But our luck didn't last long because as soon as we arrived and she wanted to get the payment, I tried to go to the ATM, 
took my credit card and the ATM and swallowed my credit card. So I was there now in Veracruz without a phone, without my credit card. And this is how all the drama started. <laughs> but you will see what's gonna happen in the next episode. See you soon, guys.